So just a simple tip here, if your transmission is popping out of second gear, more than likely, if it just started happening, this will save it in the sense where if you do have second gear wear on the synchro or the dogs, then you're gonna have issues. So this is a early X50 turbo, which is basically a turbo S. And this one's pretty powerful beast that's got a built engine, 3.8 liter, yada, yada, yada. So it's got a second gear pop out. So what I wanted to show you guys, there's a detent that's located right in this area right here. Let me see if I can point it so you all could see. So it's, if you go right above here, there's that section over there. Uh, right there there's an allen style plug bolt which looks like this sits right on top of that and then there's a detent that looks like this this is actually a g-box detent what that does is there's a smaller roller that the g-box utilizes compared to the stock so let me show you guys this kind of hard to see If you could see, the one on the left side is the original. That's the larger roller. And this one on the right side is the G-Box. So what happens is when this is installed into the gearbox, it allows the selector to be pushed in on the gear further in. This allowing it not to pop out of place. Now, this mostly works on the naturally aspirated 997 cars. And this is really a band-aid on the turbo cars. It really doesn't fix the problem. It kind of just, you know, mascarizes the issue. I'm actually gonna pull this transmission out and rebuild it in house. But for now, because it's so annoying to drive where it pops out constantly on diesel, we're gonna fix it this way. And it's not gonna fix it 100%. I know it's gonna still pop out. But if you guys have a 996, that's popping out, install one of these. And on the 996, if it just started to occur and there's no damage, it will solve the problem because from the factory they had shimming issues and they just would not allow the selector to be pushed in more so the gear would pop out because it would not be fully engaged. So what's a big problem with the turbo cars is basically they'll wear out and then you have an issue where the gears start popping out and wearing out, especially this one eight liter billet engine, crazy power. So it's easy to mess up one of these and it's got 80,000 miles on it as well. Um, we'll make other videos explaining suspensions on these as well. It's got some issues with the coilovers that someone installed. And uh, we'll also talk about these uh, tow arms that we installed. These adjustments so you can make proper toe adjustments but that'll be another video i just kind of want to go over some things that are constantly done by shops that really don't have no experience or business working on these and they were constantly getting them messed up so we're having to fix them um this one is actually a vehicle that's our vehicle um, we're just going to get ready to remove the transmission in about a couple months and get it redone uh, but this is just an example of what happens. I actually got this vehicle with the second gear pop out already. It was pre-existent. So, but we're also going to have to do timing repairs on this car. And I'll make a video about this. But anyways, hopefully this video helps for some of you guys that are having second gear pop out. Until you get your transmission rebuilt. But most of the time on the NA cars, naturally aspirated, it will solve the issue. Um, what I would do is if you're not having problems now with your 996 Turbo or 996, I just install one anyways because it'll automatically seat the the fork further in and allows the gear to be pushed in further and it, it'll prevent you from having uh, second gear pop out issues in the future so it's a great upgrade of course once it's already pre-existing wear nothing you can do about it until unless you build but we're gonna go with the 997 shafts on this car gt3 gears so when we build it it's gonna be pretty Bad to the bone, it's gonna be the best. We're also gonna go with some taller gears because eventually we're gonna pull this out. I'm gonna put some larger studs. This engine was built with small studs, which I don't recommend doing. 
and it's going to be 1200 horsepower vehicle so you know go big or go home at top automotive we really want to build an engine just go big that way you can run as little horsepower as you want but at least it'll be overbuilt instead of underbuilt so anyways if you're having these issues you need one of these detents installed just come see us we'll be happy to help you uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time